Hello, it's Rachel. Today's project is for the 6x6 challenge over on my Facebook group. There's a link to that in the video description. The theme this week is bees and I'm starting by working on my background using some distress ink in tea dye. I'm using the wrinkle free distress technique here to pick up the ink and I dry it in between layering more ink on top of it so that I get greater variety of texture. Once that has dried, I take a second distress ink, this time in weathered wood, and apply this around the edges of the piece using a piece of Ranger cut and dry foam. For the images on my piece, I've chosen to use mostly stamps from Invoke Arts. I'm starting here with a honeycomb background stamp. I'm stamping this using the tea dye Distress Ink, and then I move on to using some Versafine Ink in Onyx Black to stamp a beehive and some small bees. For the text on my piece, I've chosen a stamp set by Paper Artsy called Words Plate 2. I've stamped this out in advance just so that I can place it more accurately and then I stamp directly onto my piece. To add colour to these stamped elements, again I'm using the Distress Inks, this time I'm using a different method. I'm adding the ink to my nonstick craft sheet and picking it up with a Prima water brush.
This is my sadly discontinued itty bitty background stamp from Stampin' Up. I'm using this to add some more texture into the background before moving on to adding colour to the bees wings and also some shadowing. I select a few more colours of Distress Ink for this and I also use some of the Distress Inks in pen form where I want the colour to be darker and more bold. Now I've chosen another stamp set, this one is by Cardio and again I'm selecting some of the small B elements from it to complement the ones already on the page and I'm stamping these using the Versifying Ink in Onyx Black that I used previously and I also add small amounts of colour to them again with the Distress Inks and a water brush. That is everything for today, I hope you enjoyed watching, if you did I do appreciate it if you hit the like button or leave me a comment. If you are interested in joining in with the 6x6 six six challenges there is a link in the video description to the Facebook group and there is also always a full product list there too. And you will notice if you do look there that I have updated some of my social media details. I've created a new Instagram account which I'm uploading probably once or twice a day starting with some of my older materials and then working towards getting my new ones updated so if that's something that interests you you can click on that too and follow me and that's just about it I think okay see you next time <laughs>